There's no shortage of celebrities lining up to endorse one product or another or coming out with their own perfumes, but there's an elite group of famous people who have actually designed and patented their own products. And I'm going to run you through my top five. Not quite making the cut of people like Steve McQueen, who invented his own racing seat, which he used in the film The Bullet, or politician Tony Benn, who invented the seat case, which is a suitcase with a fold-out seat on the side, so you can sit down when you're at the airport or in a station. Or even Yuri Geller, who invented a fake diamond detector. They've not made it. My top five starts with Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Now, in the video for Smooth Criminal, he did that gravity-defying lean at 45 degrees, and he did that using a patented pair of shoes. Now, the shoes work by having a slot in the heel, and on the stage, there would be a little mushroom-shaped hitch, and at a certain point in the song, he would move his foot over, the hitch would pop up, he'd push it, the heel over it, engage it, hold it in place, and then he'd be able to do the lean, come back, disengage it, and the hitch would pop down into the stage, and that's how he did that trick. At number four, we have film director and uh, producer Francis Ford Coppola. Now, he invented the Back Scratchers t-shirt, which is a t-shirt with a grid on the back and something like battleships with kind of letters down one side and numbers down the other. And what that meant is you could direct people to the right point to be able to scratch your itch if you couldn't reach it. And he designed the t-shirt with a little corresponding grid on the front so that you could reference it and show people exactly where you needed to scratch. At number three, glamorous Hollywood actress, Jamie Lee Curtis. Now she actually invented a nappy. And her idea was that when you're changing a nappy, you need talcum powder and wet wipes and you have different containers for all these different things. And she thought, well, why not just combine them on a nappy? So she had a little pocket for talc and a pocket for wet wipes and you could do it, she claimed, with kind of one hand so you could change the nappy um, without too much fuss and without all these extra bottles of different bits and pieces. And, and uh, yeah, so she patented that. And then at number two, well, you know how it is. You've just filmed in Hollywood. You've just done your latest blockbuster and you're, you're out in Aspen having a bit of R&R. &R, you're hurtling down the slope skiing and you realize that you're burning. The sun's out and your lips are becoming awfully chapped and you think, well, my face is my fortune here. So what do you do? You grab some chapstick and you think, well, I'm gonna put this on, but you can't quite get the lid off and you manage to get the lid off and then you're, you might drop it and then you're trying to dispense it and it's just not getting anywhere. So who came to the rescue? Well, Hollywood actor Charlie Sheen actually came up with a solution. He de devised the chapstick dispenser. And this is a device that you put chapsticks into and then it has a slider up the side so you can do it very easily with gloves and it's attached to a lanyard. So everything's really cleverly designed so you can actually use these chapsticks with your gloves on. And my final inventor, my celebrity inventor extraordinaire is Margaret Thatcher. And she actually invented soft scoop ice cream. So when she graduated from university, she had a degree in chemistry and she went to work for RJ Lyons who made ice cream. And they said to her, can you come up with a way of dispensing ice cream quicker? Because it's been spooned out of tubs at the moment and it takes a long time. And she worked out, she worked in a team of three that if you could put air, if you could aerate the ice cream, you could pump it through tubes and then you could sell it in things like vans and you could, you could dispense it a lot quicker. And in fact, she removed 30% of the product by, by putting the air into it, replacing it with air. She could then sell it for more because it could be dispensed more quickly and then she turned to politics. So that's Margaret Thatcher for you. It turned out that the Iron Lady did in fact have a softer side. If you'd like to subscribe to more videos, then simply press the subscribe button.